The main aim of this tutorial is to draw away the attention from your head and more towards the centre of your face, so all the makeup that we're going to be doing is going to be doing precisely that. So I've started off with moisturiser and then I'm going to move on to a BB cream, apply it in dots along the parts of my face that need it. Now with a kabuki brush I'm going to blend this out really thoroughly. At first I'm going to stipple it, but once I've stippled it into the skin I'm then going to use circular motions to blend it in. As usual I'm going to finish off by taking my hands and I'm just going to press it all over the skin because I find that the heat makes the BB cream melt into the skin a bit better and it makes it look so much more natural. For the blush we're going to be using two different colours. First of all I'm going to be using a very very pale pink just along the cheekbones, blending that out and then I'm going to be using more of a peachy shade just on the apples of the cheek and blending those two together. If you're a little worried that you might have over applied a blusher that's fine, just take the brush that you used for your foundation and dabble that over. For the brows I'm going to be using my favourite MUA black eyeshadow and just with a nail art brush I'm going to fill in the sparse areas. And I always start at the arch of the brow, given that that's the part that normally needs it the most. And then filling in the inner corner just a little bit. So I'm going to start at the arch, filling in any of the areas which are a little bit thin. And then I'm going to move on to concealer, and I'm going to be using a shade which is slightly paler than my own skin tone, just on the high point of the brow, and blending that out. Then using a concealer which is closer to my normal skin tone, I'm going to be using that on the corner of the eye and also underneath where you would normally have dark circles. I'm blending that out with a brush and my finger. So just an inner corner of the eye and blend that out. And the of the apply primer on the lid, don't apply too much and just blend it out. Moving on to black eyeshadow, I'm going to be using a small angled brush and just starting at the centre of the eye, I'm going to create a small wing. I'm going to bring that colour all the way into the inner corner and make a really nice solid black line. With this smudge brush, I'm going to start at the outer corner of the eye and start blending that really subtly. Particularly on the outer corner of the eye, I'm going to try and lift the colour just a little bit so that it moves into the crease, but not too much. We just want there to be a very faint line moving towards the crease. Make sure that it's blended out. Now for the eye I'm going to be using a turquoise colour but I'm just going to be applying it in the inner corner because the whole idea of this particular makeup look is that I'm trying to bring the attention towards the centre of the face. So if you want you can apply a little bit of the turquoise eyeshadow, just dabble it along the rest of the lashes but keep it towards the centre. Then with a champagne colour apply that right near the tear duct before applying a little bit of mascara and then some false lashes. On the outer corner of the eye I'm going to be using a peach eyeliner and just lining the waterline. Then with a red pout paint I'm just going to be using a little bit, you don't need much of this at all so I'm just going to be dabbing it onto my lips just to water it down. And then with a lipstick brush I'm going to be neatening it up before using a darker red right along the centre of the lips to create a subtle gradient. Draw a line just along the bottom lip and then a curve on the upper lip and then blend that out. Make sure that it's really neat, so if you want to, use a lip art brush. Finally, I'm going to finish off with a little bit of gloss just on the centre of the lower lip and then at the very arch of the upper lip as well. And that's it. We're done.